hello everyone today we are going to see how we can use the console layout in android as of now i created one empty project in android studio you can see i am going to expand the resources and the layout then i open the main activity.xml here i am going to delete the default text view so i just click the design view and again in the palette i am going to click one button and drag and drop over the gui so you can see I set it in the center and I am going to run the app. You can see here in the design view I drag and drop and set it to the center but after I run the app it becomes a left top position. So what went wrong here? So I just click the split view and see the, the button showing an error. If we are using any of the properties inside the console layout we have to set up the position otherwise it's showing error for as of now i just click over the button and right click and sender make it as horizontally sender and right click sender vertically so now i am going to run again and see now our button arrange in centrally now i am going to add the text view Then I click the split view and see text view again show the error. So I, I didn't set the position for the text view. For, for now, I am going to set like in the button bottom, I want the text view. And so I'm going to choose the element in the left and the right over the button. Then you can see the error is gone. So now I am going to run the app again. See our text view arranged but we set up in the UI. So you can see this is the use of the console layout. Another use of console layout is that is responsible for the all the devices. There is another way to add the console layout. For that I am going to I am going to click design view and you can see here I click the palette I click the button and I'm going to rack and drop one button over the UI then I right click over the button and center vertically and center horizontally you can see here I minimize the palette I click the button and you can see here the second option called layout in the layout we can set the margin for the button i give like 10 dp for the margin in the right side also i'm going to give 10 dp so you can see here this is taking 10 dp in the right and the top so we can use this property to arrange the button this is the easiest way to control the button you can see here this arrow this arrow so is, is trap content so what is this trap content trap content is nothing actually so our widget will change according to the contents so you can see i am going to give the button name as button this so after i type this i hit enter you can see button expanded vertically so this is wrapping the property so again I minimize this one I'm going to the layout so I just click the drop content after that I switch to fix size so what is fix size in the fix size mean we have to give the size manually so I just click the split view and see this with take 133 dp so I again click the design view and see if I again click it that will go into the match parent so match parent taking the width widely so in the top margin i'm going to give 10 dp in the bottom also 10 dp then i'm going to arrange vertically the ui so this is the easiest way if you wish you can continue if you don't like to code in the xml you can use this design property in the attribute just expand the common attributes there are a lot of properties here if you want you can use it from here
so in my case i am going to set one icon for my button so i just click this one and here i want to choose one icon so as of now i am going to click i am going to choose uh, this big star i just hit ok so our star is appearing inside the button so i again click the split view and see what which property is changed you can see here the app icon so we can set the app icon as like this so i am going to delete this button we want to see another interesting topic which is called guidelines guidelines only support inside the console layout so if you go and look the documentation in some guidelines they are providing like this is only work inside the constraint layout so i am going to create one guideline here first of all i am going to tell the small description of the guideline so if you are using a guideline we can arrange the properties according to the ratio so let's see how we can use the guidelines inside that constraint layout for now i am going to type guideline you can see here there are one option so i hit the enter and give like for the width i will like much parent in the height i give like my wrap content and another property is i have to set the orientation so in my case orientation is horizontal this is fine so i'm going to give one id for my guideline guideline one so there is another property is important that's called app layout layout constraint guide person in this case i want to give the percentage so i am going to give not 0.5 that's for equally so in this case you can see this guideline divide the screen by 50 50 because i am giving the percentage as 0.5 not 0.5 mean 50 percentage so in my case i copy again i paste it and paste it the id must be unique in the example so i change ids one two three here i want to set that not 0.5 and 1.5 zero that's called 100 percentage create one button drop content drop content i finish it and i give the id vtn id so here i'm going to give the text for my button button text that's all from the guideline i divide the screen as 50 50 so i just click the property and in the bottom property this is default taking the top margin as 116 so i don't want this property so for now i just click and click the attributes and click the layout and i'm going to give the zero so as of now let's see so it is working i didn't set up the horizontal layout so i just click sender horizontally if you are using guidelines inside the console layout anyhow guideline working inside that console layout you can divide the screen by percentage so in my case you can see here i divided the screen as 0.5 so in my case i only divide the screen in horizontally so now i am going to Divide the screen as vertically. I copy this code, I paste it, I change the orientation as vertical, and I change the ID as 4. And this is not, uh, I'm going to give like, I'll copy that one. Five, six, not find five. 1.0 so let's see i want i want the button only the first box I, I just click the right property in the button and i set it in the right guideline let's run the app and see whether it's working or not see this is working fine 
that's all for the guideline thank you so much